Stoichiometry. Uh, a couple of questions about stoichiometry here, both around the equation nitrogen reacts with three hydrogen to make two ammonias. The stoichiometry is the big numbers uh, before the substances. Now, there's no big number before the nitrogen there, so there is a one. So what this stoichiometry of this equation tells us is one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen to make two moles of ammonia. Now, it's very rare that we start with one mole of nitrogen. We'll start with uh, different numbers of uh, reactants. So in this question, it says, how many moles of nitrogen would react with 12 moles of hydrogen? So we've got one nitrogen. That's what the equation here tells us. One nitrogen reacts with three hydrogens. Now, we don't have three hydrogens. We've got 12 hydrogens. Uh, so let's write 12 uh, underneath that there. Now, we're going here. The question is... Uh, how much nitrogen is in it? So the question is how much nitrogen. So we're going from the three to the one. And the question you have to ask yourself is how do you get mathematically from three to one? And the answer is it was less, so we're going to divide by three. It's either divide or multiply. So if it's less, it's dividing by. If it's more, it's multiplying by. We get from three to one by dividing by three. So we had to divide three by three to get one. So therefore we need to divide whatever we did to the three. We're going to have to do to the 12. We're going to write divide the three down here as well. 12 divided by three equals four. And so therefore is four moles of nitrogen. So assuming 100% yield, how many moles of ammonia would be produced from 12 moles of hydrogen? So this time we've got three hydrogens. We're assuming 100% yield, so I'll just put an arrow there. I know this is a reversible reaction, but we're assuming 100% yield, uh, and that's going to make two ammonias. Okay, so how do we get from three to two? A bit more difficult this time. Um, so we're going from three to two there, and that's the question mark this side. Okay, and we've got uh, 12 here. Uh, well, easiest way I can think of to do that, or to explain it, is to say, well, if we divide 3 by 3, we get 1. And then we're going to multiply by 2 to get 2. Okay, uh, you could multiply by uh, 0.67, that would do the job as well, but that possibly is the easiest way to understand. If we if we take 3 uh, and we divide by 3, we get 1, and but we've got 2 over here, so we need to multiply by 2 as well. So uh, let's do that. 12 divided by 3 equals 4, multiplied by 2 equals 8. 8 moles of ammonia. There is our answer.